So if I see 350, let's go. You need about and, and then it's words. That's right. In 20 minutes. Oh. Okay. And just like I told you last time about unique words. If you aim between about 110 to 125 or more, that's going to be fantastic, okay? Unique words are the same ridiculous things that I have said for such a long time. So what's a unique word? Well, just to highlight extinction, animal, mammal, known, stellar sea cows, Europeans, barren island. Those are all unique words that make Indians so happy. <laughs> all right. That's what we have to do in terms of the unique words. Okay. So when we look at this and we break this down, especially with everything, these unique words, we got to achieve it one way or another. So if you look at this, what you have to do it's all about the coherence and it's about the co all. The, no, it's not all about the coherence. It's about having a structure. The same structure I've been teaching all year. Diego 27, 24, 25, 26, this 27. Tw everyone I've taught since December until now, it has been the most successful six months of my entire coaching career online. And it's because I have a specific structure that if you abide by this law, you're going to do phenomenally phenomenal, okay? So what I have to do and what I always do, I break this down. So the red is my structure, okay? And I always say this at the very beginning. Both the reading and the lecture are about, okay, both the reading, oh my God, I can't spell today. And the lecture are about, mm -hmm. oh my God, I cannot spell. What is going on here? Oh, Lord Jesus. Let me try that one more time. Okay. Are about, uh, and then I'm going to say which is or are. Okay, and then I'm going to give a nice breakdown. That's my first sentence. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then my second sentence, I'm going to put a star right here. I always say the author of the reading states that, and then I give a nice little description, and then that last structure without fail is the same thing. However, the lecturer disagrees with the ideas made in the article. That is exactly what your opening introduction is always going to be. This is how everybody over the last six months, 24 to about 27, even, yeah, about 24 to about 27 in writing. And it's because they follow this. This is all I need you to do. Now, what I have to hurry up and do is eliminate quite a few things over here. Okay, there it is. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to highlight what are you supposed to, of course, talk about. So this is the introductory paragraph to the integrated essay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so the thing is, if we come back down to both the reading and the lecture are about, you need to get the title. The title is Stellar Sea Cows right here. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what I'm going to put right in this area. And then okay. I'm going to give my own little definition of what I'm going to put in this area. So I have to give a definition and a description or an explanation. That's what I have to do, okay? And so I'm going to say lived, waters, barren island, Siberia, okay? And so animal became extinct. And then there are reasons 
for extinction? Reasons or theories, it's totally up to you. But that's exactly what I'm going to put in everything. So if I were to write this out, it would look like this. Let me grab that black. Okay, are about Stellar's sea cows. Bam. Which, it, which oh, you know what? I'm probably not even going to use is or are. I'm probably just going to write which once lived in Bering Island Siberia, comma, a long time ago. There you go. That is my introduction. Are you following me? Does that make sense? Yes. <laughs> okay, fantastic. So both the reading and the lecture are about stellar sea cows, which once lived, came to spell once, holy shit, which once lived in Barren Island, Siberia, a long time ago. The author of the reading states that, the animals <laughs> hey, had become, had suddenly become, how about that? Suddenly, that's a good adverb. Suddenly become extinct and gives three reasons as to why they did. Uh, that's that is it okay <laughs> and so i'm just gonna highlight this oh no i'm not gonna do that one ooh, ooh, ooh. i'm just gonna have right there bam boom bada beam bada boom that's it that is a nice little breakdown of what you're supposed to do and then it's the template and then it's the template so basically your introductory paragraph is going to be both the reading and the lecture are about stellar sea cows, which once lived in Barren Island, Siberia, a long time ago. The author of the mm -hmm. reading states that the animals had suddenly become extinct and gives three reasons as to why they did. However, the lecturer disagrees with the ideas made in the article. Ta-da! Mm -hmm. So, of course, I got to type it up, but let's say you're going to have three minutes to take notes. Remember that. You're going to have three minutes to take notes. And when you okay. take those notes, you have to make sure that you write down only a few things. So if I were to just ma magnify this and to write down those notes, I'm going to put it in purple. If you were to say, Arsenio, but what would your notes be for the introduction if you were writing it? Well, if I look over here, the notes would basically be this. Stellar's sea cows, okay? Lived Bering Island, Siberia, long time ago. Mm -hmm. Gone extinct, Sev reasons why. Those are my notes for the introduction. So if you were to see my writing, it would look like this. This is exactly what my notes would look like. Mm -hmm. So this is what you're going to have to do. When you have those three minutes, and yes, I understand. Some people are like, okay, Arsenio, but you, know, you don't have to take notes because it's going to come back on screen. If it comes back on screen, there's a good chance while you're writing your essay and you're stressed out, and the anxiety is very high, you are going to write down the identical words from there. If you write down anything identical, you're giving the Indians all the opportunity in the world to give you either a low score or to even cancel your test. Now, the last time cancellations happen is because of Kathy. Kathy is someone who's very popular in terms of reading, but apparently she sucks ass as a tutor. Now, Kathy was the one that just told people to just just write the same thing and use a template. Yeah, just use this template. Yes, and that's going to do fantastic. Just copy everything. Copy everything. No, you dumbass Kathy. 
You done fucked all your students up and all these students are getting really, and they got a lot of their uh, tests canceled because again, the Indians called it plagiarizing, but everyone was just essentially just copying the same thing and they weren't using their ideas. This is an easy way to cheat the system. Another one of my favorite people in the world, however, they do end up doing the same shit that Indians do are the Cubans and the Filipinos. They try copying and they all try using the same goddamn essay template. And then next thing you know, they get scores canceled. Do not do that. I've been using this for a very long time and I call it a structure, a structure you can interchange. You can exchange out words and minus things and add things and you can make it as if the AI software is not going to say, oh, this is a template. No, 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 no. This is a template. No, we're trying to make sure that they do not say that. Okay. And so by having a structure and by implementing, subtracting and adding words, we're never going to fall into that potential trap. Okay. Mm hmm Throughout all my years coaching, I have not had one student cancel because I do not believe in just copying. You cannot copy your way into a new career. You cannot copy your way into life. You are going to have to, you're going to have to show your competencies at one point. And if you don't, you will be exposed. <laughs> That's how it is. So 